people welcome back to my youtube channel Elliot Wave Principal I'm your host Shaheen uh, today we are going to look at gold and silver I've already provided a detailed analysis on gold especially uh, posted on April 30th so on April 30th I gave a list of different dates when we are going to see tops and bottoms and it's a WDGAN style analysis you can uh, go back to my channel and you can actually see that video uh, in, so in today's video we're going to talk about it where gold and silver is expected uh, because we already have two days of trading already Monday and Tuesday already occurred so one important question in in gold is uh, probably you can ask is that whether the correction or the uh, accumulation that was happening right from the top is complete or not so I can now confirm uh, that we uh, we have completed the uh, the accumulation in gold and the accumulation in silver as well we we'll look at the silver chart as well so I'm going to for some reason trading view has deleted all the data that I had I washed up my cookies and it looks like the data they were storing were in cookies so for that reason we are going to be um, you know uh, do with the what is available right now so first of all uh, it gives us an idea uh, where the stop loss shall be the 1975 and definitely this is the area where we want to uh, uh, put our stop loss just maybe one or two points beyond and then we are expecting a, a long rally uh, just like that we have seen in the previous right over here so we are seeing a long we are expecting a longer move that we have right over here and this is expect right now with what you're going to see in the next few days to come so as far as the dates are concerned once again you can rally uh, head back to the video that's already I've been posted so this is what I'm expecting right now in terms of gold okay the previous move that was there is a possibility that you're going to see a mathematical relationship with that so I'm going to assume that wave 3 is going to be somewhere around 1.5 times of the previous wave which is wave 1 right over here so the previous wave was let's say 8 point I'm expecting for wave 3 uh, to be somewhere around of 12 points right over here So this is 10 and then we need to add another 2 right on top of here we are uh, this is uh, we are trying to find out the pr potential price target uh, for this particular move now although the longer term uh, I have given the time target for gold as well that we are going to see a top happening in October first week of October 2023 and after that a major uh, correction uh, would happen but uh, this particular move that actually started on uh, Tuesday today uh, is very important we are expecting for the prices to go all the way right to 2340 ish area at least okay and then we can once the prices start moving up we'll have a better idea and then we can fine-tune the target as well but rough right now a rough estimate of wave 3 that okay we can say is 1.618 times 1.5 times 200 times is a little too much um, but I would stay in the middle I would do that 1.5 times and this is the mm, potential target for for gold 2330 uh, 2340 means that we are right now at 2016 that gives us a uh, 220 dollars uh, right from the over and we can definitely extend this uh, price boom all the way right over here see if it matches or not so interesting thing that we are seeing right now is that uh, it looks like that the first resistance that we have found is 1 by 8 of the movement that we thought it was going to be an approximation so it's pretty interesting and to see that the first resistance that had come on a very small time frame and then we're going to look at the resistance where we are looking for uh, see where we're going from there okay so not a bad we are not I'm not expecting a deeper pullback but smaller pullbacks are expected uh, next uh, I would say two weeks once again there is a date mentioned as well next two weeks are going to be that we are going to see started uh, prices creeping upward and there's a possibility that we will probably probably be uh, completing the major part of the move uh, in next two weeks um, or at least half of it I won't say major part of it so I would say the next two weeks shall be uh, we are we should be expecting uh, to complete about half of the move that we have uh, already forecast it so let me see where is the half of move uh, so in that case we are expecting for gold to run to 2160 and then give us a sizable correction okay 
So this is one method of looking at the data. I'm expecting right now to go at 2160 for two weeks, um, you know, run up and then give us a sizable correction at that time. But right now, a major, the price movement that we have seen is, uh, and where now, where I'm getting all this kind of information, you can look at the previous uh, moves right over here. You can look at the previous moves right over here, and you get an idea that, okay, once the moves actually starts, it keeps going for a good while, till actually it, ha it reaches a good target. So in this particular scenario, the move that actually started, we have wave one and two, and then the move started again. So the, if you look at the target, this is 50% of the, the total price movement. <coughs> here it's a little different. Uh, here we, we can see that the smaller target that we have right over here, we can zoom that in. And we can also see, and delete that. So this move that we can see, that how, let's see how much is that one. about 50 percent right about 50 percent this particular move that happened about 50 percent then we have a good chunk of uh, a correction uh, in this case we had about 25 percent of the previous move in the previous move we had three by eight of which already checked on three by eight of the move so in next few d I will I'm expecting next two days to uh, two weeks to be uh, bullish and then we'll see start seeing smaller correction and after two weeks then uh, somewhere around that time you're expected to see uh, a deeper correction, not as deep. That like we're not going to come d deeper, but it will be larger in in uh, in a size, and we can probably trade that later as well. But for now, this is how gold is looking. I'm expecting for gold to go up all the way over here. Next uh, five months are definitely bullish in gold. Uh, but once prices, this particular move that actually started, uh, I I think I gave the time of two weeks for a small move, and then correction, and then this move would carry on. And I think I gave a month for, I'm not exactly sure, maybe 45 to 50 days probably. But check the previous video please for the exact date when I gave the top. At that time, we there is a possibility that we can actually see a correction of this size right over here. Alright. In that case, when prices go right over here, we can actually see probably 25% of a larger move right over here. So I hope I'm able to explain a bit of it. Let's have a look at silver. Silver is doing really amazing as well. And where if I can find here is silver okay so the silver the way silver is going because it scared a lot of people because we had a big bearish day and uh, prices jumped up a lot it gives us yet yeah, someone tried to really corner the market they wanted to uh, make the most of it and didn't go that way because it the price went up for a very short period of time and then then came back so I don't know for some sort of uh, probably malicious activity happened during the day uh, and a lot of people probably bought it on the top. So we are right now at the today we were at the bottom of this line uh, in, in this zone at least and I, this is a good buy. So I can right now confirm that for silver we have also uh, clear created a bottom right over here. So we can come and do the bottom right over here which is uh, 2448. So you can put stop loss 2 3 points right over here and then we can expect the further prices to go up. So we can do the similar thing for price targeting that we have done for uh, for s gold and what I have come with the price target for silver is very interesting and it's, it's very very interesting because this move was quite sizable all right and right now we are going in wave 3 so that gives us an idea that okay we are going way up I think we are gonna probably touch $32 um, in next month or so so this is yeah next 45 I think trading days uh, 40 to 45 trading days we're gonna touch uh, this uh, time zone. So this is 10, and then we we can okay, uh, okay, even higher. So this is our 150 percent of the previous impulse move, uh, and it is going to take us our uh, silver to 33 dollar and 75 cents. I can tell you that silver has already started the bullish move. So we are we are seeing a major major move, and we are at very very early ages. Uh, I mean, the first day already happened for the move. So we haven't lost much. Um, we have seen quite a few days already, and we were wondering why it's first day because I think that we were supposed to complete a correction this one. So I'm considering that we clear completed a correction over here at this point. That's why I'm considering this as a first day. So you can see that we probably already went by one by eight already, and then we are right now around that area. 
it gives you stop loss uh, sorry it gives you risk to reward ratio and I'm expecting that silver is going to complete uh, this run in about 40 to 45 uh, uh, trading days and uh, just to use the dates that I have for gold um, it's a lot of work to find uh, uh, find these dates and I'm a very lazy person honestly so pardon me for that but when I get the time I'm not, I won't say I'm lazy I'm really busy doing uh, my daily activities I'm working as well so I hope that if I can squeeze that in during my schedule then I would uh, definitely for try to find the dates for that as well but for now just use the gold dates for top and bottom for we are expecting 40 to 45 days to mm, get this move and after that when that move is more over uh, we are expecting for correction as well so in this particular move that we have seen and if you're wondering the labeling I can give you the labeling okay okay a quick way of labeling this is wave one we can call it wave one right over here and we can call it wave two right over here and wave three right over here and wave four right over here and you're seeing this guy doesn't know nothing because there's an overlapping for if entering into wave one territory I do understand that but give me a moment okay this is finally move a lot of silver traders were actually um, waiting for this to happen and let me give me a moment we can do the analysis right in front of you guys okay so this I want to see the correction so this was a 2 by 8 okay which is 25% uh, right so we can also do 2, two by 8 right over here this is uh, an estimation once again so we can say okay the price can actually pull back to right over here which is kind of when price goes back over here it will actually blow through this area and then come back and retest the top area alright and after that we are expecting for the prices to be somewhere uh, you know this is uh, we did this okay and then we can say that okay uh, all most often we can see that we one and five are of equivalent size okay this gives an idea that when everything is done uh, at the um, end of at the end of the large move that actually started from over here all the way over here we are expecting gold to silver to hit forty dollars okay and that would be a in the first week of October 2023 so next uh, five months are definitely definitely quite a lot of experience uh, action that we are going to see in silver and here is is just uh, the the path that we are looking into we can do that and you can say okay we can see pullback and uh, let me see if where the, uh, the first week of October is okay and we can say this is January 24 okay and uh, no, no, no. right over here September okay this is good enough we can actually be uh, we can say okay this needs to be a little straighter right here and you can say okay interesting and uh, pretty daring forecast in silver And after price hits 40 ish dollar, it can go a little up and go hit 42, 43 dollar. Remember, when it hits 45 dollar, then we'll be hitting WD against 45 angle, 45 degree angle in terms of price. Um, but we also need to see how much the range is, okay? So let's see how much the range is. Uh, because, okay, 1753 uh, minus, uh, give me a moment. The, give me for uh, minus 40 that gives us around $22 and 50 cents so 22.5 is also an important area 40 degree is also an important area when we divide the circle by 9 we get 40 and uh, the range also is giving us 25 point sorry 23 22.5 and 22.5 itself is also uh, a strongish uh, we can say a, a strong resistance but we can that does not mean that we're gonna have is resistance mean that there is possibility that we can actually hold it and we can actually penetrate through it so in that case let's say we penetrate through it I'm not expecting for 
uh, silver to go beyond $45 in this move right over here okay and we can also look on the historic chart and see if we actually uh, see any resistance point around area okay we have a resistance point right over here at $44 so we can use that too so okay this is pretty interesting so uh, we have two targets which is one is forty dollars for the October initial part in, I mean first weeks of uh, October um, I, I've given all the exact date on it as well three four days of uh, range as well for that top and then um, there is a possibility we can actually hit 44 which will be pretty interesting if we hit uh, 44 and then we'll be hitting the double top right to happening right over here and that's why uh, in gold, when gold we create a top right over, we are expecting a sizable correction because we'll be creating a double top with previous one, this one and this one right over here. So this is pretty interesting. We have a lot of strength coming in in silver, and we actually saw an example of it that silver is a smaller market. As soon as the purchasing starts in silver, just prices skyrockets through, uh, and same is expected. Silver going from 25, 40 to 44 dollars or uh, forty dollars is going to be an amazing uh, and then a lot of a lot of traders are going to be uh, happy about it because they have been waiting long time frame this whole time a lot of people a lot of retailers bought it this area this area and that area and they have been suffering loss for almost 10 years it's a very painful thing to constantly silver trying to go up and then come down trying to go up and calm down but this time I think when it goes up we will definitely see a correction and we are looking for a, a bullish move on the upside as well so once the price we make a sizable correction I'm not sure how long the time duration would be can probably a couple of years yes can it be six months yes uh, but after that definitely we are going to see higher highs because when price comes up then the structure that will be forming is this one right over here this is the start of the structure sharper move and a correction and then sharper move and a correction and then you can imagine if we have two sharper moves and correction how the third would be possible okay it will be really strong uh, in terms of price action as well wish you good luck with your trading if you, once again if you guys want to see my previous video it was posted on April 30th uh, and you can go back to the channel's home page and it's pretty interesting it gives you a lot of idea about uh, about the dates in gold um, but I haven't discussed the silver in it so that you can use the present labeling in it and uh, the one that I've given to you right now but I think there's one probably hiccup and that is you don't know uh, a lot of people are not considering fifth to be an, ex uh, an expanded wave and that's what I'm considering right now I'm expecting that fifth wave is going to be an expanded wave so if you are an electrician uh, you learn slowly that extension can possible and a lot of new uh, comers they mm, they are only looking for an extension wave 3 all right it's not uh, it's not a good thing let's have a good look and we can turn it into red for now we can go into the settings and see what uh, degree of the wave is expected we can say okay uh, yeah minor is good okay but we need to change this one you know, to a higher degree move and we can call it uh, intermediate for now okay so pretty interesting trading opportunity the silver is better to trade small uh, because it moves quite sharply when it goes up right over here is not tradable in that case we will we'll sell expect for the prices to correct and then join in the correction but right now we can join the trend trend is in the early stages both in gold and silver wish you good luck with your trading have a good one and bye bye